what is up youtube i'm back with another video here it's been a little while since i posted a video uh had some sinus issues so i was dealing with that finally am able to speak after about a week of sore throats and nasal congestion i don't know if you can tell a little bit in my voice yet uh We'll go over some cards. Got a big stack that was building up. All different sports. Uh, we'll start off with... Uh, you guys remember the holograms? Uh, won a little album at an auction. One of the auctions in the area. I think it was just more or less the best cards that I got. I did get two sets of... Top Series 2, they had Shaq, Alonzo Mourning, Christian Leitner, rookies. I'm sure you guys have seen those before. Uh, there were some really not really anything really big that I got. But uh, here are some holograms, guys. You remember the holograms? They were in an album. Uh there's one from James Brooks. You remember James Brooks? Here's another one, James Brooks. Marion Butts. He was big before Natron Means came along. Here's another one. Denny Wagner. I think you're going to know who this next guy was. Drew Hill. Remember Drew Hill? Pretty good receiver for the Oilers. Houston Oilers there, the late 80s, early 90s, and we got some basketball, Alvin Robertson, look at the shine on these puppies, look at the shine, Ricky Russo, and we got Michael Jordan, now I was going to ask you guys a question here on uh, the Jordan holograms. Uh, I'm thinking that there were some holograms that you could find in the McDonald's pack packs, the McDonald's packs back in the early '90s that didn't have backs. Am I am I recalling that correctly? Dave Archer, do you know about that? Those because if my memory serves me correctly, you could find those in the McDonald's packs. Without the backs, it had the same fronts, but there was no back. I got a few here. I'll show you, but they were almost identical to the to the fronts. They just were ha just had a blank back. And there's Dennis Rodman. That left shrimp again. Here's Larry Johnson, who back in the day was my favorite basketball player. Grandma Mall. David Robinson. Is this one that had a blank back? No, there's another David Robinson. Another John Stockton. David Robinson. Look at the shine. Here's a here's one that had a blank back, but there's no like McDonald's hologram upper deck hologram or anything but I'm thinking they were in McDonald's packs here's an Elijah one but I don't know how many were in the set don't remember that's bad here's a Jordan Michael Jordan blank back and a David Robinson arena hologram so I remember this card I think Barry Sanders was in the set too I'm thinking the Admiral. So those were from a, an auction win. Five auction win. Uh, Dollar Tree had some NASCAR cards and I bought a couple packs. I'm hoping to get some guys that I, that I don't have and I was successful. I don't think there's any inserts. You only get four cards to a pack, but pretty neat design. Non-rest. Tyler Reddick, 
Alex Bowman. You guys remember that design? And Derek Cope Legends. So I was, I was hoping to get an Alex Bowman. Didn't have any in yet. I end up getting this base card. Here's a Tony Stewart. Benny Wagner. We need that one. Race Kings. Uh, Alex Bowman, regular base card. In the nationwide uniform that used to belong to Dale Jr. Herschel McGriff. Legend and Austin Dillon, who was Daytona's winner. And what else do we get? We got Joey Logano, Martin Truex, last year's champion, Dale Jr. That's awesome. And Brad K. That was a cool sign there on his uniform. Uh, maybe this fall at Richmond because we won't be going to the spring race because it is the same day as the MCW Legends Convention, Tribute to the Legends. So, pretty sure we'll be going to Tribute to the Legends. It's going to be high, highlighted this year. They moved it up, usually it's in September, the last two years was in September and they moved it up to April and it's going to have feature Shawn Michaels Kevin Nash and just added X-Pac is going to be there I'm going to get into the cards now uh, got a bunch of cheap pickups early mid night well most of this stuff's mid 90's uh, start off with a uh, Let's see, a three-card shock lot that I got for four bucks off eBay. If I don't end up putting them on the floor, we got the uh, All Division card. Shock uh, All-Star Weekend. And the Draft Pick. Got all those for four bucks. I'll try to remember the prices on these. Got some here uh got another one of the draft pick i want it for three dollars on ebay power booster check this out this is awesome card got it for 99 cents plus shipping stoked to pick that damn reno up that is an awesome card don't get a chance to pick up many marinos now since he's retired long retired and stuff but i do pick them up when i see them they're good deals and i got the next 11 cards are from the same seller really 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 cheap on prices uh the i don't know if you guys remember the edge excalibur 22 k's but at one time they were pretty hot in the hobby got a bunch of these for cheap uh, I think the high, most expensive one was the Emmett Smith and Brett Favre that were two bucks a piece. So I got the Jerome Bettis for 99 cents. Here's the Emmett Smith. And the Brett Favre. So we ran on to some good deals on eBay. Got a 1994 SP. All Pro Hollow View of John Elway for a dollar and twenty-five cents. I think I'm just going to call this video "Bargain Basement Pickups," and we got a Brett Favre from Skybox Impact. What was the name of these countdowns? I believe got that one pretty cheap. Got that one for ninety-nine cents. Yeah. Got a, a Team Pinnacle. You guys remember Team Pinnacle? Uh, Steve McNair, Kerry Collins with Steve McNair, McNair on the defect side. That one was dollar and twenty five cents. Out of ninety five Stadium Club, Nemesis. That has 
Dan Marino on one side and Cornelius Bennett on the other. And that one was 99 cents. Nice score. Beautiful shine on that sucker. Joey Galloway, who was a pretty good rookie for the Seahawks, had a pretty decent career as well. I think he played for the Cowboys too. I think there was another team he played for besides the Seahawks and Cowboys. That one was 99 cents. And we got from 94, 95 Fleer. Got the Chris Weber Rookie Sensations. 99 cents. And with the Power Booster you seen earlier with Dan Marino, I got two basketball ones from 95 to 96. Got the Chris Weber. I just love these cards. Back when they first started making the refractors and they made a, a these are the regular tops cards. And that is Chris Weber's I got for a dollar and a quarter and this awesome looking shack throwing it down for a dollar and fifty cents. Then I was going through football cards and dug these cards out. I'm gonna show these in a video before, but they're this year's Super Bowl MVP Nick Foles. I did have a Topps Chrome autograph and another rookie card out of Topps Magic. And I think Denny Wagner, in a Denny Wagner break, he pulled this. I had the Eagles. This, uh, how to leave certified 2012. And those are for trade if anybody's interested. Uh, keeping up with the insert theme. See who we got next. We got a uh, we got a five card shack lot here. Eight card shack lot. Two, three, four, five. There's a five card. But I got a five card shack lot. This just uh, goes along with these other cards that I got from the same seller. And I got this lot here for a dollar seventy five, dollar seventy five cents. I mean, just a fire sale, guys. Got his Stadium Club rookie, second year hoops, I believe that is his hoops rookie, and this one from Classic Five Sport. And uh, one that made me go for this lot was the All Star. I think that's the second year All Star, second year, I believe. Then I got uh, these two from the same seller, from the same guy. Uh, this one's stuck. It's got like tape on the front. I'll take it out of the hard sleeve if I can get it out here. Show you guys the shine. These are reprints. These are not the actual rookies. But I did get Albert Pujols. I just love the looks of them. So I purchased, bought that one for, bought the two card lot for $1.99. And the other one is just like the base, base chrome reprint. So and that one was, well that, that lot was a dollar ninety nine, and then there was a Barry Bonds that the guy had, and I got it. Let's see, where is it? It's a uh, Don Russ production line. It was a dollar and five cents. So very cheap. You can pick up some nineties inserts, nice looking inserts on the cheap right now. Then I got a, let's see what this one is, Cowboys lot that I was stoked to get for $7.99 free shipping. And that was, I never, I didn't have any of these, I didn't, I don't think we bought any of these back then. There was any place that sold these playoff cards, I think it was, or they were playoff metal. I can't remember what the name of the 
set was, but this was an insert set. It kind of looks like a coin right there. A nice card. Deion Sanders, XL23. Then I got Everybody Loves Z Team. Got a Troy Aikman from 95. Then I remember back in the day hitting these two cards, and I think I showed this in the previous video, but I had ended up getting another one of these in this lot, The Living Legends. And back in the day, I hit the Dan Marino of this set in a box that I bought. And that is the Touchdown Kings. So, really sharp looking cards. It was one of my favorite sets back then. Then I was thinking this was a different card when I purchased it than it was. But still, I guess pretty good deal. These were fairly hard to get back in the day. 96 to 97 metal. Akeem Olajuwon uh, Molten Metal. I thought these were going to be like the 3D. But I, I got them confused with this set. I can't remember what that set was. Or it might have been a different year. They just might have changed names. It was like a 3D effect. But this is the uh, Molten Metal with the foil. Akeem Olajuwon. I think that one was like 3 bucks. Then I got, let's see what we got here, another lot from the seller, I believe, yeah, I think this is from the same seller, 11 card uh, lot, and I got another card that I need to show first, I'm trying to go in order here, I got the power and the key, in search that I showed the Chris Weber that I bought and I ended up getting a shack for 99 cents guys I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna grade out as a 10 because of all the foil and everything but still 99 cents jeez and this next this 11 card lot I got from the same seller you guys remember the Pro Bowls Thurman Thomas, Barry Sanders. Enough said. This was an insert, I believe, out of the regular Stadium Club. Dan Marino, they had like state, Stadium Club Chrome previews, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And that was number eight. And these were, I think, a five card set. Dan Marino's record season. This is RS1. And some uh, Collector's Edge Odyssey, I believe. Here's an insert. Dan Marino. That one was 99 cents. And here's the last man standing of Emmett Smith. That was also 99 cents. And we got an Emmett Smith lot, I believe, here. That was from the same seller. And it was uh, 99 cents. So I got his rookie card. And this uh, was out of images, I believe. Foil. Player of the year, I think these were called. I think they might have been one to a box. That lot was 99 cents. And then I got, also from that seller, a five, five card, six card lot of Marshall Falk. And these were... 99 cents four card lot so I got the collector's choice rookies all rookies upper deck wave of the future which is awesome looking card and the score then I purchased uh, well I got this card for 12 bucks off of a a local person who had posted some cards on Facebook and I got them down 12 bucks on this one. The top loader is kind of yellowed, but card is in really great shape. The, the John Stallworth rookie. So, 
end up getting a little vintage there just a sprinkle then I got uh, this Jason Kidd these two are from the same let's see here got this hollow view die cut <laughs> yeah this was a different sell seller but this was his rookie year Jason Kidd and it's the die cut version for 375 so bargain shopping here and then these next two are from the same seller that's right that's uh, Chris Weber refractor holding court and a Jason Kidd draft pick they got the Jason Kidd draft pick for 249 and the Weber refractor for $1.19 dollar nineteen. back in the day these were two big cards to hit so didn't I have the Jason Kidd and then I got uh, one of my favorite cards from back in the day and my favorite designs that's Michael Jordan sharpshooter from 1993 to 94 paid a dollar and25 cents for that card guys eBay I mean just unreal this next one I got Emmett Smith these were really tough to pull. I think these were one in 72 packs. I'm thinking the longest yard. There's some shine on that sucker. Really love the design of that one. We got that one for four bucks. Then uh, I had the regular version of this card. And I've been wanting to pick up the Mirror Gold. And uh, had a few on my watch list. And just was waiting for one to pop up at a price I wanted to pay. I mean, back in the day, these were really expensive, but they have dropped over the years. But still, I mean, beautiful cards. The mirror goes. Let me take that out of the sleeve. The sleeve's a little rough on that, but I don't know if the camera will do this justice, but these are just awesome. I got this one for like a little less than seven bucks total shipped so just awesome awesome card a day in the man and I got another card I had one of these back in the day and had traded it don't remember what for or what deal or what it was that but I did end up getting one back and that's the triple double 3D standouts from Upper Deck back in the day. And let's see, this was 99 cents, I believe. Yeah. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but you can see MJ. There in the background. Bought a Eddie Jones rookie, his best. I thought this was a good deal on this one, too. 99 cents for his best rookie. I mean, it's a little off center, but 99 cents free shipping. For Eddie Jones. You guys remember Eddie Jones? Pretty good Laker. I mean, you don't hear him get talked about much since Kobe and Shaq and the company won all those championships, but he was a great player for them. Got uh, this next, these next four from the same seller. And uh, these were cheap as well. Remember this card, the MJ out of the SP? And I think we're one tall box. Got it for a dollar and a quarter. I might try to pick up the silver version. I think it was. Or platinum version. Got a rejector. These were big cards too back in the day. A foil from Flair. Awesome card. Got that one for a buck. Got a Kobe here. Rookie Rewind. Got it for a dollar twenty-five cents and twenty-four karat gold. You guys, remember the twenty-four karat gold cards? Got an Aikman for two bucks. 
and it is serial numbered 1750 so that is neat you don't see them too often the numbered ones I was wanting, wanting to slide out of the sleeve there and then the last two pickups if you guys are still with me it's a long video showing off these cards there are two autographs I couldn't resist picking up two Hall of Famers and they're, they're, these I thought were bargains uh, both pitchers a lefty and a righty I believe oh my I'm going to do my homework No, they're both righties. Mm. And uh, this one, I think, was a replacement. You, whenever these cards came out, they had issues with the ink. But I got the Dennis Eckersley. Tops Tribute. Just a really nice card. I think this one was 13 bucks total shipped. Really, really, really nice card of Eck Mr. Eckersley. And then the next one was Mr. Bob Feller Hall of Famer. These were really nice too. Leather Lumber, 2005 Donruss. I think they were out of, well, that, that one was out of 128. They Each card was, had, I don't think they were, for all 128, I think each one has different numbering, but really nice autograph. Oh, a uh, deceased Hall of Famer there. That one was 13 bucks. No, that was 12. That one was 12 shipped, so. Woo! That was a lot. A lot of cards to show in that video. I'm glad if you guys stuck around, thank you for watching this long video. But I am caught up now with the cards. And we'll see you in the next video.